Hello everyone, Luke Ford Smith here, welcome back to another quickie reading. Uh, it is Saturday the 6th of February, uh, today's reading will be of Dirty Crack Briefs. These this will be pretty gross but entertainment nonetheless. Um, so we're going to start off with a quote. You know it's, it's okay to be different you know sometimes we have our accidents we poop ourselves yeah and then we end up with dirty pants and that was Chris don't pin the o OOP okay so dirty crap briefs is a trollish shorthand used in reference to Chris's troubles with fecal leakage coined by Chris himself in an IRC chat from January 2010, 2009. It has quickly become a popular catchphrase. Okay, maybe back then, but I haven't really heard it much nowadays. In short, Chris, Chris unwittingly shits himself often, even after encouragement from his doctors and f from his doctor and from his mother, Chris would refuse to wear butt garments because according to the Ivy Q&A he felt they were for babies well no because if you got like incontinence problems and they make adult diapers or adult nappies um, nowadays if you're like having problems down below and you can't make the toilet in time he he had one only one or two episodes where he wore butt garments but uh, though they were only worn because Ivan told him, t told him it would, it was his punishment for cheating on her with Vanessa Huggins, based on his own comments, on his own co comments on the subject and those of people who managed to get close to him, particularly his now deceased sweetheart Ivy. Stress tends to in inspire these episodes but at other times he appears to be lazy, careless or distracted to bother making his way to the toilet. Right, so we only got like five sections on this here. Um, I'm not going to um, look at the pictures. I'm just going to read up on this. Chris on crapped briefs. Chris 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 first alluded to difficulty controlling his bells in doing a December 2008 IRC chat with Panda Halo where he admitted he had sometimes mistook a bell movement for gas and shat himself as a con consequence. He said it did not happen often and replied with an Em emphatic no when pa when Panda suggested he, he that he wear adult diapers to deal with the problem. Ground zero for the dirty crap br briefs phenomenon was 20th of January 2009 where Chris made a bizarre skip s slip while ar arguing with Clyde Cash and Billy Mays on I IRC. When when prodded by the trolls concerning his allegations, alleg his alleged fondant, fondness for wearing women's underwear, Chris angrily retorted, I have a number of pairs of dirty crap beads. On further pr pr prodding on the in from the trolls, uh, it should be probing really, not, not pr prodding. He went on to reveal that most of the time he didn't even realise that he'd crapped his briefs until well after the fact, while Chris felt the need to surrender he surrender this information is beyond our understanding. Although, g given the context of the, of the conversation, Clyde accusing him of wearing his mother's panties, Chris may have felt that offering more details on, on, this, on his supposed preference for male un underwear namely that he wears um, enough to shit in him would reinforce his point we've got another quote good god chris at least make him earn it dot 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 don't don't be don't just be like hi i shat myself and that was billy may's irc 20th of january 2009 
Uh, by the way, this is not the real Billy Mays. This is a this is a troll posing as Billy Mays uh, because Chris doesn't know the difference. During uh, later, during the infamous Lily reveals himself herself episode, Chris shat himself in mid conversation whilst sparring with Blue Spike. Shortly before Max forced Chris to shove his medallion up his ass, he just. He asked if Chris had lost control. Chris first shouted maybe and then gave up and admitted yes. On the 20, 28th of, eight of April 2009, Chris admitted in a video that he crept his pants were in his stress and claimed that it's perfectly normal comparing shitting his pants as a grown man with, with a baby defecating in its diaper. On the 1st of December 2009, Chris was refused to offer advice to a mailbag co correspondent who suggested that he ha that 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 she had some d degree of fecal incontinence, claiming that the topic was personal and that he refused to talk about it. Given Chris's glorified history of bad taste and in this. In indiscretion, th this drawing a line between what is private and public could be a milestone, or perhaps he just found the idea of a girl who who shits herself to be too icky for his tastes. Further evidence of C Chris's discomfort in talking about the subject lies in his choice of dated vocabulary, rather than calling toilets a toilet or a gun. Chris refers to them normally and. And in and in an acquitted southern fashion, as commodes, he as he, if he's embarrassed to mention them, too embarrassed to mention them. Yet, I, 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 ironically, dirty crap briefs are not a personal subject. In a aim chat concluded on twentieth of October two thousand ten, bloody hell. I have not heard of AIM chat in years. I don't think it does it exist. It's like AOL chat, isn't it? I think it's from AOL. Um, I don't think like these chat rooms. I don't think they all exist anymore. Chris revealed to Gacky that on many occasions where he where he turns what 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 was now white to brown, it slips out pain, painlessly, and that he doesn't know that he doesn't know it until he's, he sits down in fact in fact he had chat himself at the exact point where he where he asked about them the term dirty crap briefs he blamed on stress and that he had from earlier in in the session which involved re recording the tales of high school bullying he then stated that it happened in previous chats between them and and that they might have a psychic link on the 30th of October 2010 Chris revealed how he handles crapping himself in public he admitted that when he loses control he goes to the nearest public restroom walks into a stall and wipes his ass on shitty underwear and toilet paper with toilet paper okay well, at least he clean up after yourself. <laughs> Otherwise, he waits until he drives home to clean up. Yeah, just sitting in it, in the car, stinking the car out. Jesus. Yes, everyone. Yes, everyone. He openly admits not only to shit in his pants, but also to driving home with shit smears over his ass. This adds to the ever-expanding list of reasons not to accept a ride from Chris. God, I bet his car stinks inside. It must really stink. In a July 2010, a 2011 post on the Tomboys and Tom, Tom Girls of Virginia forum, Chris revealed that 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 he now only wears panties and refuses to wear briefs. Ironically. Chris's desperation to prove that he does not wear women's underwear is what led him to reveal the, his problem to the world. No word on whenever or not Chris 
has had to deal with dirty crap panties yet although evidence suggested he has Ivy on dirty crap briefs this must be from her perspective Ivy's post-mortem account of her time with Chris sheds more light on Chris's incontinence issues Chris has trouble controlling his bowels ever since he was a child she, she says but the problem became more acute after he finished school especially whenever he got stressed out in the spring of, 29, of 2009 the subject has become a source of serious cons cons consideration concern between Chris and Barbara at the time Chris would incontinently toss his dirty underwear still fully loaded with excrement in the family laundry basket burn it just throw it away really or, or don't put it in the laundry when it's full up that's, that's fucking gross eventually they brought up the problem with their with their doctor or who advised Chris to make changes to his diet and exercise routine and possibly wear protective garments that's the thing is another reason why he shits himself all the time is because he eats a lot of fast food like almost like every single day he does it like morning night and evening that sort of thing and it's not good it's not good for anyone Chris doesn't think much of these suggestions or especially the notion that he should wear diapers that's for babies was his comment at first but Barbara tried to force the issue by refusing to do his laundry in the hope that Chris would wear would either wear diapers or eventually do the adult thing and start washing his own clothes of course Chris did neither in a, sh a short while later he was called by a troll who pretended to be Clyde Cash and made a series of death threats making making Chris genuinely afraid of of his life and leading him to drop in a massive loads a, a massive load in, in his sheets while sleeping in the night after that Bob relented and started to wash Chris's laundry again as of now thankfully for us you don't have to see the the after effects of the dirty crap to put a bed <laughs> But that's really stained that bed. Additionally, given the filthy condition of the Candler house, it, it, it this is also a straight up guarantee that Chris, Barbara, uh, Barbara, Bob, when he was alive, and nearly anyone who enters a house, who enters his house, enters a dung cave of no escape, having to deal with Chris's sh shit leaves you coat in it. Both me metaphorically and literally, it's it's particularly like Chris-like sort of irony that he find that that he finds the suggestion of wearing diapers an insult to his maturity maturity level, but sees no Im imperfections regarding the same maturity in the fact that he routinely hits his pants. Considering considering that Chris's bowel issues has been occurring since childhood, it is most likely related to his autism, as bowel issues have been known to occur among people with the disorder, particularly in the more severely affected types. Um, before we go on any further, let me just check my recording. It's absolutely fine. Menstrual pads doing a Tom Gale saga the man in the pickle suit leave leaked images of Chris holding a box of female hygiene pads and explained the context and this is from him Heh. also Chris got these got these to control his pants shitting the doctors see the doctor suggested Chris get diapers but he screeched but those are for babies sad face now that he can use mental pads instead, that's a okay for a beautiful young flower like Christine. Um, we're gonna I'll, I'll bring these two up. Um, we'll look at them later. In 2015, a little song and dance box of pads was 
is clearly visible behind Chris while he dances in his bedroom. In a paid video from 2016, Chris knocked over the camera, revealing an upskirt shot of Chris wearing a panty liner. He reacted angrily by to comments about it. And this is from him, a uh, dumb people. What you saw in the accident, the quite shot was my panties, pantyliser and pantyhose. No diaper, what the hell is wrong with some people? Um, we're just going to have a look at the MD's pics right here. Uh, so let's just bring them up. Basically him looking greasy as ever, holding up a box of um, pads right there. And this is another one, it's basically always pads, they send them all over the place. Um, we got a IRC transcript here. I'll just read it quickly. Uh, so Clyde Cash says, "You want a man deep inside you," and Chris says, "That sir is incorrect." Clyde said, "You want to wear bra and panties?" Oh wait, you have. Ha 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 ha. And then a troll playing Billy Mays says, "Zing." Chris says, "Clothing does not make." A person. Is it not my yeah? Clyde said that isn't that isn't clothing, Chris. It's your desire to be a girl that is showing. And then Chris says bra and panties are considered underwear, and underwear is a type of clothing. And Clyde says, look, I know everything you've done. Uh, Billy Mays says t-shirt equals clothing, bra equals female support garments. Clyde said, look, bras are for females, so explain that. And so are panties, unless you're gay, which you are. And then Chris says, briefs, brief and boxer equals clothing as well. Clyde said, but those are for guys which you don't wear, apparently, because you're wearing panties. And Chris says, I have a number of dirty crap briefs. <laughs> Billy May said, wait. Clyde said, what? You can't make it to the bathroom. Billy Billy May says, You, you, what? What the fuck are you off why the fuck are you offering that information? And then Chris says At those times it mostly slipped out without <laughs> with without my knowledge. Billy says Oh oh Jesus no. Clyde said, Well, you're even more pathetic than I imagined. You're still in the closet and you can't control your bells. And that was it. That was it. We're going to have a look at some of these other pictures here. Not that one because that's good. This gross. Um, this is another one I guess shipped to the bed. And it's um, the... Um, I don't know. Is that who I think it is? I can't remember the name though. But I don't know. And we got a comic thing here. Something is happening downstairs. Sonic, you make it can come with me. Everyone else stay here until further notice. Okay, so that was the um, Dirty Crap Briefs reading. We've done this pretty all right. Under 20 minutes. Not bad. Um, I hope you liked this video. And I will see you next time in another video.